Family. We're going to be telling you guys how Mika started talking. You guys have been asking for this tutorial for so long and we got you guys. You ready to tell them how you start talking? Okay. <laughs> Are we going to tell them all your secrets of how you started talking? Yes. Yes, Mika. Your yes, your friends they need to know. They want to know. Yeah, they want to know, Mika, how you started talking. Yeah, we're going to tell okay. you. Yes, we will. Okay, we'll tell them everything. As you guys know, Huskies are vocal dogs. So when we first got Mika, she did not talk at all. She's very, very quiet. She was always sweet though, and always loved love. You guys might not know this already about Mika, but she was actually a rescue dog. She actually had two homes before she came to live with us. We're actually gonna make a video just specifically about that on our family channel, and I will leave the link to that in the description or somewhere on this video. So when I first got Mika, I was living with my parents still, and she was not allowed up on the couch. My mom always told her no every time she got up on the couch. So one day, I wanted to break the rules and I wanted her to come up on the couch. So I was like, Mika, come up, come up. I was like, Mika, up. Mamas. And she started doing this. I was, I said, Mika, come up on the couch, come on, up. And she started doing this. Ever since that day, every time we said, up, come up. I don't want to. <laughs> the word up or come up she does that all because my mom would have let her on the couch and I wanted her to come up <laughs> and she was afraid because she didn't want to get in trouble so now she kind of thinks that the word up kind of means speak so then we had that word and we know that's a word that she always speaks to so then we said Nika speak up speak up speak up Mika Siriak when you say up, but the Siriak also when you say, like when I told her, like Mika, uh, come here, but in Greek, like Ella do. Mika, Ella do. Yeah, <laughs> Mika, Ella do. She learned Greek. Ella do, Mika. <laughs> Every time I tell her, Mika, El, uh, come here, let's do this, she always argue. Like, Mika, she's like, um, I feel like she's like a kid, like six, six between six and 12 years old, that they, they like to argue. And she always does that. I feel like I have a kid next to me. Like so, Mika, come here. Let's do this. Let's, let's do that. No, no, I don't want to. She's like this. She actually didn't start doing this until she was three. And I met him when she was within three. So, she only used to talk when I would say, come up. Up. When I would say, come up. <laughs> she only would talk when I said that. But when I met her dad, then she started talking so much more and arguing with him even more. I don't know if maybe she just didn't like him at first because she used to like, every time he came home, she started like, used to scream at him. Like, what are you doing here? Get out, get out. Mika, daddy's coming home soon. Oh, <gasps> Mika, look, daddy's Mika, home. come here. Come on, Mika, come here. Yes. <laughs> daddy's come home. Here. Mika. Mika was, uh, she was looking at me and she went like far, far from the door. And I was like, Mika, come here. She was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> she never came like to say hi to me. She was, she was going inside the room or the living room and she was argue, arguing with me. The more time we spend with Mika, the more words Mika finds that she understands and that she talks back with us. Now there's even more things that she understands and she starts talking to. So before she used to not talk on command. She used to only talk in like certain situations. Now we have trained her how to talk when we want her to talk, when we're making fun videos, or when we want her to say that she loves her friends. We're gonna show you guys with her treats how we do that and how you can too with your own dogs too. Okay, so we're gonna show you guys how you guys can make your dog talk by using a treat. She loves these treats. These are organic chicken treats that she loves. So we're gonna use these today. 
So, Mika obviously already knows this, but what you're gonna do is every time your dog starts to, to mouth any barking or anything, you're gonna give them the treat. So you can like clap them on, like, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> as soon as she starts to bark, cause you can see she kind of barks differently, then you, you're gonna give her the treat. So now we're gonna try something different. Now that, she, now that your dog knows how to bark and that you're gonna give them the treat when they bark, you're gonna make sure you use a hand movement. Not that one, not paw, baby, not paw. She thinks that we're doing paw. <laughs> so this time we're gonna do this. Come on, Mika. So, so now she knows that this, so we kept doing this until she mouthed. Now she knows that that means talks. Good girl. You tell your dog speak, give them the speech command. Mika, sit down. So first give them the speech command. Then you're gonna give them the hand command too because they're visual learners too. Mika speak. Good girl. Once they get that down, then you can give them the treat. This method really just takes consistency and the more you do it, the more your dog will remember. So obviously you guys have seen the videos of Mika and her dad arguing. Like we said in the video, she really just starts to do this now every time we talk because the more you work with your dog, the more they're gonna understand your commands and they're gonna understand you more and more every time you work with them. For example, when I say, Mika, why did you take all my treats? <laughs> yeah, that's my <laughs> treats, Mika, it's not yours. That's mine. No more for Mika, that's daddy. Yes. Okay? <laughs> no, no, that's daddy. No more for Mika, that's only daddy. <laughs> Don't tell me if you're gonna get more treats she's, soon. She's faking it right now because she wants yeah, more. She's, she's faking it right now because she wants more treats. Yeah, now she's faking it because she wants to sleep. Oh, see, <laughs> Mika. What do you want? Why are you faking it? Huh? What? You want more treats? <laughs> yes, you do. You want more treats? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you do. That's that is. No more for Mika. Okay? No, no, that's that. No more. Huskies are such intelligent animals and they're so smart, especially with the way that they listen to their owners. Mika's very stubborn though, like don't get us wrong, Mika's still really bad about walking on the leash. But here's the thing about dogs is like sometimes you're not gonna you're not gonna get the perfect dog. And we love Mika just the way she is. So just because your dog isn't doing one thing, that doesn't mean <laughs> we still we love you so much. Just because your dog's not doing one thing how you want it doesn't mean that they are incompetent or not understanding. It just means you have to work with them more. Right, yeah. Mika? Right, Mika. Right. She wants more treats. No, she knows that. She doesn't listen. Baby, you had so many treats. <laughs> no more. You want more? A lot of times you guys can see she just talks and we're really not even doing anything. Like, we're just like, Mika, come here. Come, come here. <laughs> like, if we... I know you're right. I'm just joking, baby. Like, if we say things that doesn't make sense to her, like if she, for example, like if we say, Mika, sit down. Mika, sit. She know, she knows that we're telling her to do something that doesn't make sense. So then she argues, like, I'm already sitting down or like, I'm already here. That's what is very, very intelligent about her is that she, she really vocalizes the fact that she doesn't understand what we're saying too. The closer we got with Mika and the more time we spent with her, the more she started talking like this. And these are habits that we just started creating by just being around her all the time. And I think it's, she finds it like a game. For her it's like a game, so she likes it, she loves it. It's not like we do it, uh, we force her to do it. No, sometimes like she, she does want to talk with us. That's how she, she argues with us, but she likes that, she loves that. We hope this video helped you guys in teaching you guys how to make your dog talk to you. And I hope you enjoyed our story of how Mika started talking to us too. Remember, Mika didn't start talking until she was three years old. To get your dog and it's not very vocal with you at first, you might have to just wait and be patient. We've heard of Huskies not talking until they were like seven years old. We have another Husky in the family, but that Husky, she's uh, one year old, her name is Zelda. And uh, she doesn't talk, she just bark. And now we are trying to make her uh, talk. So when we're over there, we work with her the same way that we work with Mika. And we show her the same trick where I showed you guys earlier when we do the hand movement and the speaking. So make sure you use your voice and you use your hand movements and treats to show them how they can talk. We're going to be posting a video on our family channel that I'll also leave in the description of how we met and how me and Mika met and me and her dad. So if you guys want to know more about us as a family, that will be up on our family channel really soon. Thank, Thank you guys, you guys so for, much watching. for watching. Bye, Bye you guys. guys. Come on, back. <laughs> Mika, speak up. One, say two. Bye. Come on. Mika. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Mika, say bye bye. Mika. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on. I can't see you. You do? I love you too.
most beautiful flower. You are the most beautiful flower. Come on, come on.